Let's turn our attention to a change in supply. What are the factors that might cause a change in supply, that is, a shift of the supply curve? OK, to start with, let's now assume there's an increase in the number of suppliers. With more businesses selling chicken, the supply curve will shift to the right. So the quantity supplied at a price of 4 rand might now be 4,200 pieces. But the quantity demanded is still only 3,000 pieces. Nothing has happened to cause a change in demand. We therefore have an excess supply in the market. Now what does this mean and how will the market correct itself? Suppliers will now have to compete to get rid of the product and, as we've seen, lowering the selling price is the most obvious way of doing this. As the price falls, the quantity demanded grows and suppliers start to produce less. This correction, this process of falling prices, will continue until equilibrium is reached again. This is now at a price of 3 rand, where the quantity demanded is equal to the quantity supplied of 3,600 pieces. Comparing the new equilibrium position with the equilibrium position before, the increase in supply you can see shows that an increase in supply leads to a decrease in price and an increase in the quantity demanded and supplied. To summarise then, any factor other than the price which increases the supply of a good or service will eventually cause the equilibrium price to fall and the equilibrium quantity to rise. So, what about an increase in the cost of production? An increase in the cost of production causes a drop in supply. Well, if it's more expensive to produce, suppliers will cut back on their production. And this decrease in supply is reflected in a shift of the supply curve to the left. As we've seen, this will cause an excess demand, gradually forcing prices to rise. This correction continues until a new equilibrium is reached at a higher price and lower quantity. To summarise then, any factor other than the price which decreases the supply of a good or service will eventually cause the equilibrium price to rise and the equilibrium quantity to decrease.